All right, good news and good news and some bad news. Uh, today, Saturday, uh, April 1st, I am uh, had a good night's sleep in Home Depot and Corpus Christi, uh, one of three Home Depots that I think are in the area. Uh, it was pretty pretty reasonable night, uh, pretty warm. Uh, inside the van is 75 degrees and 90% humidity. Uh, pretty been pu pretty humid down here so it's definitely warm uh, I haven't had an official shower uh, in a minute so today this morning um, I've given myself a nice sponge bath bath if you will so I feel pretty fresh uh, I do need a shave uh, but that's that's coming up here soon I think uh, but, but officially I'm out of water I can't remember how many days uh let me see in september of 2021 i flew to texas bought an empty cargo truck then drove it 1100 miles back to wisconsin where i spent the following year building it out into a tiny living space now i'm planning to travel the u.s mexico and possibly canada i'm jack smackey Sit back and join me while I take you along on a van life adventure. So yeah, I'm officially out of water and when I left Padre Island, they had a dump station with potable water, so I topped up my 30 gallon water tank and I, I lasted two weeks with it. Um, out and about now I went through quite a bit of water when I was at the beach a lot more than I was thinking I would have so maybe that had a factor being on the beach I washed myself more washed my hands more or used more water. I'm not quite sure but any rate since I've been off the beach um, I've gone two weeks and I'm like plumb out of water like it's it's gurgling out of water so I'm gonna go back to uh, Padre Island where I filled up before I just kind of want to drive out that way anyways so some more good news is it sounds like um, there's a launch window for the Starship, SpaceX Starship, uh, between the 6th and the 12th. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's when it's going to launch. What it means is that there is a potential for it to launch. Um, so that means I need to get my butt down there and see this rocket with my own two eyes before it, it it, it goes away um, so definitely next week I'm going down to Boca Chica the station fresh water black water um, this is potable this is the potable water station here so um, but otherwise camera's fogging up camera was in the van and it was uh, I got the aircon on in there so this will probably take about 20, 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Not a huge, a lot of pressure, but either way, fresh water. There's this uh, Bird Island campsite out here on Padre Island. Um, it's eight dollars a night, and it's basically like a parking lot. It's like backed up to the beach. It's like you you basically get one stall wide. You know, like a parking lot stall, and then you got a neighbor that's that much, you know, as close to you, more or less close to you as that. There was a few open spots, but 
you know, I just don't feel comfortable, like, wedging myself in between all these people. Uh, it just feels uncomfortable to me. It just, it just feels, it doesn't feel right. I don't know. I don't, maybe, maybe maybe I'll get used to it somewhere down the road, but um, I can go, I can go to Labonte Park and spend a day there and have a, you know, a, a good spot. I'll have good internet too. So that's probably what I'm going to do in Labonte Park. I got a few more days here left in Corpus Christi and then we're on our way to Brownsville. Got to the National Park with my National Park Pass, picked up a full tank of water, so we're, we're in good shape, man. I accomplished my goal, so that's good. All right, so if you've uh, been watching some of my Twitter feeds with my food posts, uh, you may have noticed uh, a couple of times where I posted um, uh, smoked salmon pokey. Now, um, I didn't realize how delicious that the poke bowls could be until I saw uh, someone online uh, a video, YouTube video, where they were talking about having a poke bowl and how easy and delicious they were. So I kind of looked into it a little bit and I'm like, wow, you know, this is pretty cool. So I got a filet here that I wet brined overnight with some kosher salt, some brown sugar, and some honey. And now I'm just letting them sort of uh, dry off and get it prepared for smoking. So what I got outside here is uh, I got my Traeger, I got a little Traeger smoker and just right outside the trailer here which is super super convenient. So we're going to smoke this uh, salmon on the Traeger and uh, we're going to go from there. Alright so I got the uh, I got the smoker at 185, I got the two uh, salmon fillets on there. Got it basted with some honey, and I've got the thermal pro probes in there. Keep an eye on there. We're gonna we're gonna take the salmon up to one uh, 145 Fahrenheit, and then we're gonna pull it off. See what it looks like. But it's gonna taste amazing. Salmon's been on for about an hour. I've been basting it with some uh, honey water. Uh, about every 20 minutes it's starting to get some color it looked pretty nice probably another 30 minutes and we'll be laughing salmon was on for about uh about an hour and a half i was gonna go for like 145 but it seemed the temperature uh rose up quite quickly and I, I don't know I, I just I'm not sure first time smoked salmon so I went ahead and I left it on for about an hour and a half and temperature ending temperatures was around like 165 170 so we'll see how it turns out but either way I think it looks pretty good so yeah smoke smoke salmon for poke bowls I cannot wait all right, so it looks like I got about nine servings of uh, smoked salmon here. I'm going to freeze these five, and then the other four I'm going to leave in the fridge. And I'll be eating and snacking on those for the next couple of days. So let's put together this salmon poke bowl. So I got about a half a cup of rice. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of rice vinegar, vinegar in here. Uh, half a cup of rice might be a lot of rice for, for some people, but I got an appetite, so... I like a little mayonnaise. Now you could probably go with like a spicy mayo, but um, I've got some cucumbers here that I made. It's got uh, red pepper flakes and some sesame oil. So that's gonna bring our spice to the table. Shredded carrots. We don't necessarily want the skin here, but we want the salmon. So let's cut that off with a skin. Put that right there in the middle. Smoked salmon on the Traeger. Let's grab some of this spicy cucumber. Oh. This is so good. And then on the other side, I've got some musk melon. So this gives it also gives it some sweetness and some crunch texture I shredded the ginger so pickle radish 
see how that works. Smoked eggs. <laughs> Beautiful. That's it. That is going to be good. Delicious. Thank you very much for tuning in. Be sure to check out next week's video. And if you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe.